Hello. In this video, we'll discuss the IO Motions feature of the Easy Steps application. The first question to answer is why would we use IO Motions? The answer is when you want to use discrete bits to execute moves. These bits can come from a PLC or push buttons or whatever. They get connected to inputs on the Linmont drive. In this example, they're connected to the X4 connector. We'll use X4 pin 4 and X4 pin 5 for this example. So let's say that when X4 pin 4 goes true, we want to make a fast move out, say to 75 millimeters. And when X4.5 goes true, we want to make a slow move back, let's say to 0 millimeters. So here's how we do it. We expand the easy steps, expand IO motions, and look at the pin that we're connected to. We'll expand that, and we'll look at the rising edge function for X4 pin 4. What we're going to do is we're going to make a go to absolute position move. So we'll double click on that. And now we'll have to set up the move. So we click on IO motion config. For this move, we're going to a position of 75 millimeters. Click on that. For a max speed, we'll pick 2 meters per second. For acceleration, we'll pick 50 meters per second squared. And for deceleration, we'll pick 50 meters per second squared again. So we're 75 millimeters, 2 meters per second, 50 and 50 meters per second squared. That's the move that we'll make when X4 pin 4 goes true. Now for the move back, when X4.5 goes true, our rising edge function, we want to go to go to absolute position again, so I'll double click on that. Under the IO motion config, this time the position will be zero millimeters because we're coming back. Max speed in this case will be very slow, 0 0.01 meters per second. And we'll leave the 1 meter per second squared acceleration and deceleration. So we're pretty much ready. We'll go into our control panel. And now we'll confirm that we're uh, switched on, that our motor is home, and we're basically ready to go. So we can watch our X4.4 and X4.5 inputs here. And I have switches connected. So when I make X4.4 go true, you'll see that this input goes true and that we go to 75 millimeters. So I'll make that go false. And now when we make our X4.5 go true, we'll make a slow move back to zero. So let's watch up here now. X4.4 true, fast move out. X4.5 true, slow move back to our position of zero millimeters. That's pretty much the IO motions feature of the Easy Steps application. I'm Jeff Burt. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please give us a call or visit us at www.linmont.com.